Hey guys, we're right in front of the Bixby house here, right next to the museum, and we're taking a ride up the street here. I wanna show you how Rockville's on the move. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. We're driving down the, we just passed a brand new $2 million bridge and we're driving down a brand new $5 million road. There's a completely restored factory on the right here that was turned all into apartments. Cody Suds moved from upstate New York. He said it's the best apartment he's ever owned and uh, or rented and for the best value. It's, we're actually going to see my good friend, Dane Bundy, he is opening a brand new uh, tattoo shop called Rock City Tattoo. The ribbon cutting's in like seven minutes. We're running a little bit late, but we want to show you when you come to Rockville to, to the Motorcycle Museum, you can get a tattoo. You can stop down to Antonio's for the best pizza east of the river. You can get a haircut at uh, Flint's Barbershop, or you can uh, get your boots polished at the uh, shoe cobbler right here. So, and if you're thinking about moving to business in town, there's lots of good opportunities here. Dane is uh, one of the supporters of the museum. He is the road captain for a local MC, Murder Cycles, and also helped us put put on the uh, Cafe Racer show. We're here to support our good friend, uh, Dane Bundy, and his quest to expand his business in Rockville, and we're going past all the construction you're seeing here. And this is the cobbler shop if you want to get your boots done. Matter of fact, my boots are done. We're gonna go in there and pick them up. This wall here, my, my volunteer crew, we painted that wall, took all the graffiti off, and here we go, we're going into Rock City Tattoo. Uh, they're open for business. Where do you see this place? Money. This is a total renovation of the building here. It's a, a early 1900s building. It's been completely remodeled. Some killer artwork on the walls here. They've got a huge selection of artwork or you can do something custom. Come on in, I'll introduce you to the owner. How you doing, Mr. Mayor? Good, Good to see you, sir. We meet again. Dane Bundy, this is a man of the hour right here. He's opening the new shop. Up, welcome, welcome to Rockville. Hey. And this is uh, Drew Crandall. He's a, a president of the Rockville Downtown Association. So how are you? And this is the man behind the scenes who makes it all happen. Guys, we're here with Connor. He's one of the clients getting a tattoo here today. What are you getting done uh, there, young man? Getting a few pictures done. Thinking about getting like a palm tree, a plant, and a camera personal things for myself you know a little meaningful a little tasteful that's awesome yeah well my name is Dan Champagne I'm the mayor of Vernon and uh, I, I'm so happy to be, be over here uh, welcoming another business uh, we got at least the Flint brothers are trying to redevelop the entire downtown with me and uh, I appreciate that and bringing their friends with them and whereas co-owners Sam Flint and Dave Bundy are partnering to open Rock City Tattoo. And whereas Rock City Tattoo is joining the ever-changing Rockville Business District, and whereas the town of Vernon is working with current and new businesses to encourage foot traffic in the Rockville downtown area, and whereas the town of Vernon is pleased to welcome Rock City Tattoo and wish them, a w wish them well in their new adventure. I said adventure, but it says venture. <laughs> <laughs> I look at it as an adventure. <laughs> That's how we, we should look at life, too. Yep. Now, therefore, I, Daniel A. Champagne, together with the Vernon Town Council, welcome Rock City Tattoo to our community and celebrate with them at the ribbon cutting and grand opening of the Rock City Tattoo. Congratulations. I just want to say I wore a zip up jacket, a sweater, a long sleeve shirt, just so I don't get tattoos today. <laughs> it's this kind of teamwork that's making America great again. And I'm I, for one, am proud to be a part of it. The big moment. Three, two, three. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! Hoorah! <laughs> and you can get a hair tattoo. They can actually, does that put a Harley logo on your hair? Both. This guy can do anything. <laughs> well, yeah, you get, for the tattoo company, you can book right online. You can schedule your appointment. And uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can I'm book sorry. right online, schedule your appointment, and uh, come in for whatever's convenient for you. Awesome. We'll see you guys soon. Really, Appreciate really, really it. psyched for you guys, and uh, we'll do everything we can to spread the word here. Appreciate it. Send all our friends and visitors down. Get a haircut and a tattoo. Thank you, Cameron. All right, brother. You're responsible for the resurrection of the, the facade here. You painted this. Oh, this week, yeah, right? yeah. We're replacing the awnings. The RDA has sponsored that. And uh, we've also um, replaced the window in the La Brioche. So we're really trying to spruce up downtown and make it 
call people. That's it, why it's I'm... looking awesome. And Drew said that you were on the on the move, getting things done down yeah, here. Yeah, so yeah, I'm really excited. Glad to finally meet yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Studio Four Six Seven. We're trying to build an artist community. That's what I really want to see come to Rockville. I think there's a that's really a great perfect. opportunity. We, we... Dane, how's it feel to be officially open? Uh, feels great. Thank you. Um, it's, it's been a long road to get open. A lot of uh, hoops to jump through and permits and money and uh, it's nice to be open so now we just got to get everybody down here and uh, get this place rocking awesome. so uh, it's exciting <laughs> awesome. new chapter in my life so it's exciting time new baby new business new businesses did you guys right. buy another business today yes we did <laughs> <laughs> that's two in one day the that is you guys are on the move yep. and so. bringing it to Rockville which we're grateful yes sir absolutely this is Mr. Sean Gately town planner this is a guy who makes it all happen at Rockville. We wouldn't be here without him. So, hey, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of businesses that have moved to town because of this guy. So thank you, Sean. We're really grateful. Well, you're welcome. We got more work to do. About, I think it was about almost 10 years ago now, you said in five years you wouldn't recognize Rockville. Your dream came true. This town has been completely resurrected. $100 million with the new roadways, new bridges, uh, improvements in infrastructure, the uh, all the buildings that have been redone, Loom City Lofts, uh, Talkaville Mills. Mr. Mayor. This, this is the dream team right here, folks. These guys right here, Mr. Mayor and Sean Gately. They've got Loom City Lofts done, Talcottville Mills done. They got us, our, our museum open. Without this, these two guys, Rockville would not be where it is today. So we're just super grateful. Thank you. More to come. More to come. Stay tuned. These guys have more plans. <laughs> It'll never end if we just keep going, right? Absolutely. So. Uh, Mr. Mr. Mayor also got reelected uh, last night, right? Or was it night before? Night before. Night before. He just got reelected for a fourth term, right? Yes. So four terms in a row, and uh, these guys together have accomplished so much. And Mike Picaro, there's other people behind the scenes on their team that are just, they're, they're saying is around the move. And look around you, look at all this construction work getting done. Drive down West Main, drive down East Main, all new roadways, all new bridges. Rockville and Vernon have become the poster example of how to resurrect a forgotten mill town and how to bring the economy back even during tough times by working together, bipartisan support, getting the state, the town, the federal government, everybody working together, and the citizens. So these are the, these are the guys making it happen. Stay tuned, like you said, there's lots more great things to come. Three, two, one, we're gonna be filming in a second here, so everybody look alive. Hey guys, we're at West Main Barbershop, and if you wanna get a killer haircut, this is the best barbershop east of the river right here. Now, they have a friendly competition with their neighbors about that, but uh, right next door. So they're either first or second. They're both on the podium, but great place. I've seen their work. They can they can carve a Harley Davidson tattoo on your haircut if you want. Any kind of haircut you want right here. Keep up the good work, guys. So after you get your tattoo, come on over for a haircut. And then walk down the street here to the... To, uh, the Shoe repair shop, Dave's cobbler shop. What's happening, Dave? Not too much. We uh, filming a little promotional video for the shops here. This is Dave's cobbler shop here. Check this out. These are my high point boots right here. He restored these for me, and they look. These were like old antique moldy boots, and he made them look brand new. How you doing, brother? Good, Good to man. see you. How you doing? Yeah, really nice to see you. This is my son, Kenny Jr. Hi, Ken. Dave, how are you? <coughs> nice to meet you, man. You as well. Dave, you've been here how many years now? Oh, jeez. Since 83. Since 83. 1983. So uh, when you're getting your tattoo, it, I think if you talk to Dave, you might be willing to rebuild your or polish your boots for you while you're getting your tattoo. And then you can get a haircut, oh, yeah, and you can go yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. Antonio's. We're a full-service plaza. We have everything. You get everything done right here. Don't forget some good jerk chicken, too, at Craig's. At Craig's. Yep, yep. If you want to get your color sewn on, look at these. These were these were musty, dusty oh, old boots at BMW. You know, they look brand new. I found some, uh, some mice uh, nests in one of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> mice nests. We've, we've seen that before. A home for a mouse. And look at this one here. These look brand new. Yeah, yeah. Wow. These came out stunning. I'm, I'm, I'm finishing the other ones, the, 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 the red, the red yep. fronts, and finishing those in the back. I was gonna get some steel wool and maybe try to steel wool the front of this. They look just, beautiful. Just to give it a little. 
Th these are like from 1975. They're like 45 years old. And when I came in here, they didn't look nothing like this, folks. So if you got a set of old motocross boots, you can ship them here to Dave, or you can come down when you come visit us at the museum, drop them off, and he'll make them like brand new. He did four sets for me. I can, re I can put usually new soles on them, too. I can correct whatever's missing on them, uh, scratches, buckles, tears, you name it, you know, so. You know, give them the back to life on the road. So they're one stop shop. Get your boots done, get your hair done, get a tattoo, and get fill your belly right here in Rockville. And then <laughs> fill your eyes at the museum. Now, most mill towns have a resurgent in art. Here you have Studio 467. This is Bree. Come on in and meet, meet the owner, Bree. Bree, it looks amazing. You did a wonderful job in here. It's fantastic. I love it. Wow, I love it. I love the old wood and uh, the new floors. It even smells brand new in here. Yeah, yeah. So introduce well, yourself. Uh, I'm Bree Maxwell. I'm the owner and overly excited <laughs> artist here at uh, um, Studio 467. We have um, where you're standing right now is going to be the gallery area. Um, so we have three additional spaces for artists to rent downstairs. So they have an opportunity to wow. teach, sell their work and have a space to work. So almost like a co-op space where, That's so you have three openings for artists to rent space downstairs. That's correct. If, mm -hmm. if you're a, an aspiring artist and you want a place to go, come to Rockville, you've got Brie Maxwell here. She's on the move with her art center here on the first floor in the lower level. There's three open spaces. So you can not only get a tattoo and get your hair cut. Get some fried chicken. And get your and shoes waffles. done and get your hair's done, hair done. Hair done. Mm -hmm and get your boots polished, but you can come see Brie and she will hook you up with some yep. killer artwork classes. What exactly uh, do you offer here? So I am a ceramic artist. That means I work with clay. So it's pottery um, as well as sculptural work. So I, there's all different ways in which you can work with clay. Um, so I have all those different ways between slab, ro slab rollers, extruders, to um, tile building, to coil building, to throwing on a wheel, like the movie Ghost that most people associate that with. That's so right. yeah, and then I teach classes in all of those areas. So what, what uh, attracted you to Rockville? Uh, you know, I grew up in Connecticut. I'm, a, I, you know, my, I lived in Wyndham and then uh, Mansfield, and I, I left for about 15 years, lived out in Colorado, worked in a lot of corporate, started, holographic data storage company <laughs> wow. and yeah that doesn't I'll, sound like nearly as fun as what you're doing no, here no, this so is you're doing this because this is what you're you love to do this is yes. your i've your been doing passion. this for a little over 20 years Can yeah show, well thank you for showing us yeah, your shop absolutely. it's and wonderful for everything you're doing for rockville it's really okay. a great this, great town i, I love this area i have beautiful. I, I have to say that the tattoo shop exceeded my expectations i have to say that flint's exceeded my expectations and this blew me away what i saw in here it's clearly uh an artist that loves what she's doing and takes yeah. a lot of pride in her shop. Yeah. I'll give you an uh, A plus. Yeah. Now you got to come to the place. My, the only reason my kids really love it in Rockville, and why they would come here with me all the time, is, G is Gino at Antonio's Italian Pizzeria. This is the best pizza you're gonna find east of the river. Come on in, Gino. What's going on, my man? How are you? This is a, this is the man man behind the scenes. My my kids have eaten dinner here more than they have at home What's since up? we moved to Rockville. Gino is is kind of like a, a family member now. So <laughs> best pizza anywhere east of the river, right here. Thank you. And the pizzas are huge, and the slices are huge. I think how many times does my daughter Taylor come here? At least four times a week. <laughs> yeah, she and loves the it. son that so eats a barbecue chicken, <laughs> a barbecue cheeseburger. Yeah. Yep, this is a place to go, folks, and he's got plenty of room in here. We used to bring parties with a volunteer crew, 20, 30 people in here. Gino will hook you up. Gino, how long have you been in Rockville? I've been here almost 10 years, next month. You're, you're the uh, one of the hardest working guys in Rockville. You're here all the time, huh? I do my thing, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. And the quality is always top shelf because Gino's always here making it happen. Yes, sir. So, Make up everybody. What, what attracted you to Rockville? I don't know. I just came down and I like the place and uh, I start. Well, everybody here loves you, so we hope we hope you're gonna stay. Thank you. I'm here. All right. Awesome. Thank you so, thank much, you so for, much. Thank you for feeding my family for the last ten years. Anytime. I really appreciate it. Take care, brother. See you, guys. God, See God you bless. Take care. There you have it, folks. The best pizza place east of the river. I can't give you a, a tour of Rockville without talking to Labroche Bakery. Now, unfortunately, they're closed because they open at six o'clock in the morning. Fresh baked pastries. Fresh French bre bakery bread. Look at this stuff. I want to break the window and eat all that bread. I'm so hungry. They close at 3 o'clock. But look at that. If I was, man, this place is awesome.
Oh, she, I think she actually might be here. Hi, how are you? I'm Ken Kaplan. We're here doing a story about all the, the businesses in Rockville and how they're yeah. booming. And I wanted to uh, show the folks your place, but you're closed, so. Well, you um, can come in and do okay. if you right. want to put the light on. How many, how many years have you been here? In this place here, six years. Six years? It smells It amazing. smells absolutely delicious. I was on Wall Street, I was on Wall Street for yep. seven years. Yep. And then my landlord sold the building to somebody else, and the, land, the new landlord was nasty, so I moved over here. So if you want to get yourself some killer food, she's got a place you can sit and eat in here. So you can get your hair cut next door. You can get a tattoo. You can get food and you get your boots. Everything done right down here in downtown Rockville. So one-stop shop. Early morning, free coffee. When you buy your pastry, we give you free coffee. Did you hear that? I don't know. Dunkin' Donuts, you might have a challenger here. Free coffee with your pastries. And a good coffee, not just watered down. The best. What is your specialty here? Bread. The bread. It, lo bread. it looks like artwork to me. It is. It looks beautiful. <laughs> I make all different kind, different shape, special order. Wow. Little roll, somebody wants. Little roll like this. Look at that. It's like a little, it's like a, got little ears on it. Yeah. <laughs> I That's put a crow for the eyes, but this is already four, four years old, all this bread. Somebody wants a football. Did she need to make a football? Football bread. In a big sun. sun star. Wow. So if you want a custom pastry like that, do you have to order it in advance? Yes. It's like ordering a birthday cake or something, right? Birthday cake, yeah. You call early morning, it'll be ready in the afternoon. Oh, you do cakes also? Oh, yeah. Wedding cake, birthday cake, just oh because God. cake. So wedding cakes, birthday cakes, pastries. What what other? Uh, and you have coffee. And look at all this coffee. delicious stuff here, Kenny. Fresh croissant. Oh, my God. I give you a pastry. You fit which one you want. Oh my God, they all look so good. I don't know, where, where, Junior, what do you, th what, the what do you think, Junior? Croissant. Well, I'll go with that one then. Like I'll take your word for it, I love almonds. In the plain croissant right here. But uh, me, I don't eat none of these. I only eat the plain one. But this, this is Which one, one do you recommend, best. this one? This is one of my best sellers. Yeah, I'd like but to try one. I like almond, you're not gonna like this. I love almonds. We just made them because- Oh my God, this looks delicious. Try. I'm okay. Mm. That's okay. It's delicious. Kenny, okay. don't be a fool. Take it. Okay. It's delicious. <laughs> hey. Oh, thank you. Try it right now. It's delicious. This is the best croissant I've ever had in my entire life. Okay? We make it the way we make it at home. Mmm. It's so good. Oh, my God. I gotta bring Christy here, she'll love this place. Wow. Cracker bread, with this. How, do, how does this so, get so delicious? It's amazing. Because it's good flour. All these little cakes, it's really... The only thing that don't make is these cookies. So, the croissant was the best one I ever had, and she gave us a, like a two foot French bread to take for the road. Thank you so much. I'll give you one of these. This is the plain croissant. This is what we make the, the almond croissant with. Oh, fantastic. I'll have that with dinner. Not going home empty handed today. With a full belly. This video will be on our YouTube channel tonight if you want to watch it. I don't have cables, so oh, okay. I don't know. And I don't know anything about the electronic. Okay. When it comes to electronic computer, I got computer tablets. I don't know how to use it. Sometimes that's that's the best thing. I don't like computers either. Well, yeah, thank you so much. We got to go. I know is baking. You, well, you're doing a wonderful job. I love what I do. Thank you so much, and God bless. Honestly.